these new um, consoles being announced, PS4 and Xbox One. Mm-hmm. Um, and obviously the Xbox One has this Kinect controller and the PS4 has the light on the controller. Does that spark any ideas or any excitement in terms of how you might use that technology? Uh, a while back, uh, someone was asking me what I'm looking for. I, I said I wanted to have a input device that captures uh, the player's facial expressions and gestures and fingers so that they could actually go into a virtual world and talk to someone and see their emotions without necessarily knowing who they are. And I think the Kinect 2 seems to be finally there. You know, that that's a device that could actually do that. So then, you know, because right now we are bonded by the input, you know, it's like I can talk to you with my words, with my facial expression, with my body language. So there's a lot of communication happening here. But if I'm in a game, I can only communicate through one of the 16 buttons yeah. and two analog stick. That's really limiting, right? And that's why between the players, what we're doing is just like beating on each other or shooting <laughs> yeah. each other. That's it. That's the only interaction you can do with between the players. But I think uh, once you can put your facial and the body language on top of the voice and the context, uh, I can see many games being very interesting, like poker, for example, will now become actually interesting because you see other people and poker is a game about the skill, which is deception and calculation. Um, and that's useful for real life. It's more relevant than, you know, how to shoot someone's heads off. Mm-hmm. Um, but before a uh, console with a controller, that's all you can do. Mm. Uh, and I th- I, I'm looking forward to see what kind of new game that actually uses more real social skills could be done on a console. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. And uh, I honestly didn't expect Connect 2 to be that much better than Connect 1. I think I, ha- I got an email from Ding uh, Takahashi. He was the one who heard my original desire, like I wanted a device that could do that. And he mm-hmm. told me about you should look into Connect 2. Um, I had a little behind closed door session yesterday, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, and it is, it's very impressive. Um, I'm used to what Connect does, and I'm used to the fact that it's, it's a compromise because it doesn't work 100%. Right, exactly. But you work with it, and you get quite a nice experience if you're prepared to, to, to make that transaction. Mm-hmm. Um, but what we saw of Connect 2, um, things like just tap, tapping your head to bring up a visor or um, moving some fingers and or sort of facial recognition, like you were mm-hmm. saying. Um, and something interesting I thought was that they were quite happy to combine a controller and the Connect camera, uh-huh. whereas previously those two things have been separate. Well, and those things it's coming the, together makes sense. The piano thing. That's the piano thing. When you have a new technology, you just want to do it and really show <laughs> it off, yeah. right? And and. It won't become mature until you start to feel, you know, start to use it with nuance. Mm. Um, but right now, Kinect 2, to me, is still a question. So I, I'll, be, I'll be watching. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And so will we <laughs> to, see, to see what comes next from yeah. that game company. Thanks for your time. I really appreciate mm-hmm. that. Thank you. It's been great to catch up. Yeah.